Ranty. Yeah. Um, do we want to talk about the gear? Can, can, can we get that knocked out? Because I'd like to know. I'm torn on even talking about the gear. I don't. Do, do we even give attention to the hate? It, what? No, but here's the thing, though. They they are the audience, and mm -hmm. we're, ma we're part of the reason we're making the video is to entertain them. Now, personally, I I'm doing this because it's kind of a lifelong thing I've always thought about doing, and in my head I was always alone. But now that there's going to be you guys, I think it'll be even better. Uh, so I want to go, and I would go even if we didn't we weren't taking cameras. But since we are taking cameras, it makes sense that you know we don't have camping gear because I want to really stress this we're not fucking camping it's going to be uh, s below 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and raining one of the nights yeah uh, bite you know, me we... Joe Lozon yeah yeah if we, <laughs> if, if we don't do our jobs appropriately we could get hypothermia and die that's a legitimate thing that could happen Tuesday night but there are a few things that of course we want to bring and Woody mentioned earlier like Les Stroud does these scenario videos Les Stroud the yes. survivor man doesn't go out with nothing he doesn't he you think he does but he doesn't he's like all right here's the scenario so yeah. you know I, I just went snowmobiling and I got myself a half a gallon of gasoline an entire snowmobile a small tool kit some leather some foam a helmet you know that I can use as a yeah. bucket or a cooking device I've got this I've got that like the, the these survival guys come loaded, and don't even get me started on Bear Grylls, and I'll pronounce his name like that, because because he <laughs> sleeps in hotels at night. He has camera crews handing him bottled water off camera. He he's you know like it, we, we've debunked that guy a million times. And I'm not saying he's not a legit camper, but when his show is not what you think it is, his show it's looks like it's him cutting a seal apart and making a web suit for survival, but it's really a dumbass playing camper on camera that's what his show actually is yes les stroud goes in with more equipment than you think he does right he's not going in there with just like a single match and a and a pair of tidy whiteies now no, sometimes he goes in there with very little but oftentimes he presents a scenario more often than not he presents a scenario in which he has quite a bit of gear and it may seem to the untrained eye like oh well, he's just got a cell phone and a and some steel wool. Yeah, that's a fire making tool. Can, can I point gonna... something out with Les Child too? He generally has the area mapped out and he knows where he needs to be by day five to get picked up. Yeah, of course. And he so... also goes in with pe people indigenous to the area and he's trained yes! before. Yes! That's a thing, so I don't right? really have a dick measuring contest with these guys on TV. But I'm, all, not trying, I'm, I'm just saying, we're going in this motherfucker blind. We're doing a oh, dick yeah, measuring saying, contest, but the point in. is ours is smaller. <laughs> that's, the, that's the point. <laughs> this guy goes in and he, and he knows like you know exactly which plants are edible. He didn't know that. He did a little research going into it. And, and like our little research is like how to start a fire. So it's a whole different thing. And, and yeah. Kyle, do you want to carry on? I know you had a yeah, point to make. Yeah, so, so the... Is, the, the question is this. So this trip was going to be a hunting trip where we had 22 rifles, limited ammunition. Now with that, I was so confident that I was going to be able to feed us because every day I'd go in my backyard and go for like a 30-minute walk, and I was seeing a rabbit every day and two or three squirrels every day, and I'm like, this is just half an hour. I could have killed all those animals, and that could have fed all of us. So I was confident that that would feed us, but rabbit and squirrel season uh, doesn't happen again until the fall. So... We switched it to a fishing trip. We're just trading our rifles for fishing rods, and we're taking those really. They're like it's like a forty dollars fishing rod. If you go on Amazon, you could probably find it. Or Woody, could you show them the fishing rod we're taking? Sure, one second. That would be great because you'll see how shitty this Damn. thing is. It's an ultra lightweight fishing rod made for catching like fucking bait fish, and we're gonna be using it on trout, bass, and catfish. Damn, I'm glad y'all decided to let me on this, because when y'all said bring fishing rod, I was going to bring... We have, we have decided to let you in on it multiple times. You were not available. Oh, we were just going to show it was like guy. a professional thing. Oh, dude, I, I, used, to, <laughs> I, can't eat know, I used to have a 2006 Triton aluminum boat. I got some nice fucking fishing rods back here. Uh, I can't speak for Wings of Redemption, but he needs all the help he can get anyway. Woody and I have these ridiculously... I don't even know how to put this rods. together. He doesn't know how to put it together. That's where we are. And you guys are like, oh, FP it's the uh, PKA camping trip now. PKA camping trip. No, no. We will die if we fail at shelter and or fire on the second night. Someone could die. Wings will definitely die. I've been, if, I've been <laughs> camping you, many you, times. You lie, you look Every at me. time I brought food and shelter because that's how you camp. This is something different. We're not you, bringing any food. That's the other thing. Like, like not a bit of food. Like, we're hiking in with 32 ounces of water uh, to keep us hydrated until we get to water. But 
you know, other than that, we've we've you know, Wings is gonna have some. I, I've got, I got Wings some glucose tablets, so that uh, if he if he if his hypoglycemia acts up, he can pop one of those. That sucks because I thought he was really gonna bring Juju Bees. He probably still intends to, but I've got him <laughs> glucose tablets packed in my bag. You guys are gonna have to strip search him seriously before you go into the woods. I'm down. Full cavity search, dude. You 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 worry about those little amount of calories that I get from like a granola bar, dude. Take that's huge. Too. That's not that's, that's not huge. huge at all. He's you realize like, my body burns like five or like, five. Yeah, man. If I had one granola bar a day, I I, I would be set. Mm -hmm. Dude, my, my body burns 45 to 5,000 calories a day. Yeah, but Kyle. your body brings like a million calories with it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so wait, Wings, what's your BMR? Like, what do you what do you what do you normally? You well, know, my what for, what for a day? Just living, not not just, counting. Just workouts. sedentary life out is about 4,800. Damn. All right. So you, you're going to be going super negative calories. What oh, we're going to yeah. see is what happens when Wings Redemption's diet is actually controlled 100%. And yes. that is that Wings is going to drop like 10 fucking pounds. No, Dude, it's going to be more than that. I got, I got sick like two weeks ago. Like like I got a, a stomach bug and I dropped 18 pounds that week. And that now, was, how does that factor that in was with, the, with where your weight is now though? Because you haven't worked out in two months. I, I've only gained nine. I gained those nine of those 18 pounds back. You gained... Okay, well that's water weight then. Yeah, yeah, you can't gain. But it nine. still made you feel bad. Fair enough. What I'm saying is, this is gonna be. I this mean, won't the, be as much work, water weight because you're gonna be work, drinking, but you're not. You're just not getting is, calories. The working out, the way it's gonna affect me is like, um, like bending over and picking stuff up and doing things like that, like just the muscle fatigue. Well. Regardless, I don't want to get too far away from the point, and that is, I want you guys' opinion because you are the viewing audience. We're we're doing this mostly for you, so let us know: Are these tiny fishing rods that Woody has still not been able to assemble? By the way, <laughs> I'm actually trying to put it Keeping back. Keeping in mind, I'm the only one who knows how to tie the knots. No one else knows how to tie either of the knots required. Not the one to put the the line on the reel, or how to load the reel, or how to tie a hook. I'm, Kyle, not, I'm not, I'm not, Kyle, I'm not, sure I not lined up Kyle. with you. What, 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 not did, what not do you normally tire, Kyle? I don't know the name of it, but I can... Kyle, you, know. you were doing the wrong thing and asking these bastards for feedback on what equipment we can bring. Yeah, how yeah, the fuck does exactly. it say? I didn't appreciate right? that shot I, I saw a guy on Painkiller already just say, you should bring someone who's really annoying and steals all the food and like doesn't know how <laughs> to make that. shelter with They're you. They're already so bringing wings, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. That's what they... Yeah, like, just, I love you, Wings. I'm just playing, man. Yeah, yeah. These people but, are like, you know, like they want to sabotage us because they find the struggle entertaining. Yes. And and they will happily nearly kill us for Look, a good video. Let me tell you what's more entertaining. Uh, mm. it, it would be more entertaining if the three of us ended up like the Swiss Family Robinson out there with trained monkeys than it would if Wings just turned blue and we had to go back to the truck. Okay, it's it's why, better. Why does Wings got to be the one dying here? <laughs> okay, it'd be. Come it, on, it, Wings. If, if when I fall <laughs> apart on day two, because we still haven't caught anything to eat and my my blood sugar is dropping. And I get really cold because I didn't bring the right clothes or a bedroll. When that These happens, are all things wings are doing. Wings and then doing. phantom hypoglycemia yeah. shows up He's that like, Kyle oh, didn't oh, even know oh, he had. No. Kyle's like, hypothetically, I don't bring the proper clothing. Oh, that's wings. And I go hypoglycemic. That's wings. And I don't build a proper <laughs> shelter. That's wings. Then maybe I'll have to leave early. That's wings. Just thing. And, and once again, it's not a failure or anything if you have to leave early. It's a rough condition we're going thank in. But, you but, for, thank you for destroying what little self-confidence I had in this trip. Oh my with. goodness. We've been if trying to pump you up. Your self -confidence, you should be on YouTube. Wings, you're building the shit out of that fire dog. You know it. You're the yeah. one that's been practicing it the <laughs> we're most. We're putting Wing on, on fire details. He's on fire duty. <laughs> Dude, it, it's not <laughs> even there. Like, course. There's lots of things I do bring to the table. I mean, like, I can tie knots. I'm, I'm pretty good at that shit. I was, I was defending your seamanship, Wings. Right here, bro. Wings. Didn't you say you were just going to bring a t-shirt and No, an I undershirt? said I was going to bring an undershirt, uh -huh. which is these. This is an undershirt, right. a t-shirt, and a fleece. So you've got two cotton shirts shorts, and a fleece. And I was going to bring sweatpants to put over them. That, and that, that with a proper shelter and a fire should be enough to survive 40 On a 38-degree rainy night in the forest. Not to mention body heat. If you I've think got I'm so cuddling you... <laughs> you 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 going you talking this big game now? Just wait your ass out there in cold because I'm fat as shit. <laughs> Wings is I like a... I have this advantage over you guys. Yeah, you talk big game now, buddy. 
Come Tuesday night, I'll be looking mighty snugly. <laughs> I'll be like a motherfucking pillow. What? I swear to God, I'll die before I snuggle with Wings Redemption. Mark my fucking words. No, no, that's got to be a video. You guys got to cuddle with Wings together for warmth. No, yeah. I'll die first. I Come swear on. To God. And, like, and like, there's real, there's real concerns I have with this trip too. Like foot blisters. Like if I get feet blisters, I'm borderline worthless. Dude, you can walk. You can walk a little ways without getting blisters, and like oh, I can, I can walk a good bit without getting blisters, but not bathing and, and all this other nice stuff. Not bathing. I, that's where I don't get. We're gonna. I'm gonna get in the river and take a fucking bath. Like I, I'm gonna. You know. I went on a hiking trip. This is a couple years ago, and in, in John Muir Trail, I've talked about it before. One of the guys I went with, his name was Ed, got bad blisters on the second day of like a six day hike. Shit. And like we called him Darth Vader, he had so much freaking like mole skin, and and every day he'd like take it off, and you'd see giant exposed like like two and a half square inches of brand Ooh. new skin. He never said a peep. He just at the Shit. end of the day he'd take his boots off, he'd air them out, and uh, I'd be like, dude, doesn't that hurt? Like that looks awful. And he'd <laughs> say, yes, it does hurt. <laughs> what a badass! Yeah, <laughs> I am scary. nowhere close to that badass. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's pretty tough. Like, I, I I won't quit unless um you know unless both of you guys are like, yeah, man, it's time to go. I I, I really won't. If I cut myself, you know, we'll just patch me back up. You know, <laughs> you and your band aids out. <laughs> Bring some back teen too. Just to make so, sure you can't have that getting infected. We're right? bringing a <clears throat> we're bringing a basic first aid kit. Yeah, and I, I haven't guess even my, looked inside it. I had it in my backpack from before. Yeah, no, no suture kit, but you know, like <laughs> alcohol and band aids and neosporin, something like that, and maybe some gauze. But my, I guess what I was trying to get at before is, what are the things that we absolutely shouldn't bring on this trip? Uh, I guess that, that's that's my question for the I audience. say big pot, machine gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm cool so far. You know, I I yeah. don't think we need a big pot. I'm Basically, taking one of those really tiny metal cups. Yes, yeah, a, a tiny metal cup. Um, what else? Um, Why are you all against the big pot? Because it's campy. Yeah, that's the thing. I, it is yeah, supposed it, to be. A it, it's not even campy. It's just more efficient. Like, no, it's campy. It, it's motherfucker. There's three things in this trip that we need to do: secure water. Build a shelter and find food. That's the three keys to survival. And the fire wings. Don't forget the fire. How That's could part you of the shelter. No, oh, okay. not part of shelter. This you is the making... Wings Redemption Survival Guide. <laughs> no, so look, there. You're right, right? Like, what'd you say? Food, shelter, and what else? Food, shelter, and uh, hydration. Okay, hydration is so easy. Um, so, so then there's food and shelter to me are the trickier ones, and heat. It's good. I watched an episode of Survival Man, and Les Stroud was like, "Oh, it's so cold. It's bone chilling cold out here. I think it might be like forty, 40. something." I watched right? that too. That's in the Georgia swamp. <laughs> I watched that, and I got scared. Yeah, because that's what we're doing. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, I think I, I have the weather report, and I look at it every day because yeah, I they, posted it on the subreddit. As it gets more uh, current, it like. You know, they show here. I'm putting it on the screen right here. 37, 36. This kit, this is worse than it was when I first looked at this. Yeah, it got a little cold. <sighs> it's hitting, the 30, it's like freezing out. 36 degrees Fahrenheit. This is at night. And Kyle will die before he cuddles with wings. I'll die before it happens. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. Like, That's I, like some serious cold there, boy. That is serious <laughs> fucking cold, especially if you're on the ground. Your ground sucks 75% of your body heat I out. I will not be on that ground. You keep talking about this ground thing, Kyle won't be on the ground. Kyle has been learning how to fucking bind sticks together and make a tripod. I'm going to make a raised bed platform with coals underneath that mother oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I weigh 400 pounds. <laughs> and there's, only, there's only so many damn sticks I can bind together. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you say that? No, I guarantee you could be you could lay on the bed that I'm gonna make. It's five hundred fifty pound test paracord wrapped like three or four wraps. We could all get on this thing. I'm yeah, you guys could lay it around together. Having yeah, I nice saw a guy make one last night on YouTube, and and he made a big one like for a tent. I, I got a question. I've been, no, I, I haven't bothered looking up. How are we gonna make cordage out there? Like we're bringing cordage. Now that's the other thing. We're bringing paracord. That's like a survival like staple. Like you don't go out there without paracord. I thought we was going to actually find it 
off the trees. And no, that's absurd. Stuff. We're not in that kind of environment. No, we would die without paracord. That's that's another thing we really and you guys, need. The the um the preserve would get kind of pissed if you guys were going ripping off bark and stuff trying to make rope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like it would you know making cordage in the wild is not a skill that we have, and I, I you know. I don't know if the vines are going to be there in that area. That's another thing. When you see Survivor Man do something and he's, like, getting all this cordage, it's because they found a part of the swamp where there was a lot of cordage, I bet, because that's not a regularly found thing if you're just thrown out there. But anyway, yeah. So here's some things that I'm just going to bring whether you like it or not. Now uh, you're talking. I like your attitude yeah, now. Like Carry this, on. This better. <clears throat> well, I definitely need my cordage, my, my 550 paracord. I'm going to bring a good bit of it because I'm planning on – demonstrating a couple different knots and a couple of different uh, things that you can do with it. I'm going to try to make these tripods. I'm going to try to, uh, to do a few other things. So paracord, I definitely want that. Our knives, I don't care how many knives you guys want to bring. I don't think there's a limit on that. I mean, bring as many blades as you want. You're just carrying more stuff. Um, I'm going to bring uh, like a couple of little like uh, tools, like a hatchet and uh, like a little shovel. And I, we're not really getting anywhere with a shovel. It's just... It would be good if we could dig a hole if we needed to. And obviously we're going to need, even if they don't want us to bring the fishing rods, we need uh, we need hooks, we need um, sinkers, fishing floaters. Line. I already bought the fishing rod. Kyle, this is the cord I have? Why do I think your cordage is like light years better? Uh, hang on, I'm clicking your How many screen. feet is that? Yeah, it's the same stuff. I don't know. I, I just If you cut it, there's there should be like, I don't know, seven like, strands in there. Five or seven. It, I, I've never even used it. I, I just keep it in my uh, hiking backpack for whatever I didn't predict, and I haven't needed it yet. But this time I think I will. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, so this is what I'm bringing in terms of cordage. Yeah. Um, what else? What are some things that you're bringing, Woody, that are uh, a little above and beyond, maybe? A little. Well, the water filter. A lot of people don't like that, but I don't want to boil everything I have to drink. That's a pain in the ass. People um, don't. What do you? Okay, hold on. Can I just ask really quick? When you say people don't like this or that, what does that mean? They post uh, comments like, no, like water they filter. shouldn't bring these things. They like, go to the PKA subreddit and want us to suffer immeasurably. <laughs> like, and and I think uh, what would happen is, um, I, I probably boiling all the water that three men want to drink is such a pain in the butt that we end up drinking unfiltered water, and I don't know how that works out. Yeah, it, it looks, looks a little murky in the pictures. <laughs> it looks a little murky. I've I've drank uh, water like that before, and I've never gotten sick from it. Right. But I also have heard that if you get sick from it once or twice, I think Les Stroud was saying it the other day, that once you've had that uh, that sickness a few times, you kind of get immune to it, and you can just drink any kind of water. I um. So the locals drink that water unfiltered all the time. Kill the dog, and. Uh, but on the URE website, they say that it needs to be filtered. Yes. So so that's a thing. So I'll bring in a filter, and what else wouldn't they like? I Oh, I might bring um, like some sort of plastic blanket type thing, and I, I envision using it to like direct heat from the fire our way, yeah. not as a blanket. I might put it Reflector. on top of firewood for the rainy day so it stays dry. Um. Like that, I was thinking, effectively, I'm bringing like a tarp, maybe. And I think that'll be super handy. And I'm a not. A tarp bring... or a trash bag? Something along those lines. It's like a silvery little blankety tarp. Oh, okay. Thing. So, oh, you're talking about the space blanket. Uh, I guess. I don't... These things are cheap. It was yeah, like so... 10 of them for $5. Yeah, so it's like a aluminum foil blanket. And yeah. The idea I'm bringing one too, and we've got a similar idea, I guess, is to is to make a heat reflector that's on the opposite side of the fire that we are, and that directs more of the heat toward us. Uh, and I think that'll be good. It'll be interesting to like show that concept. I think you can line the back of the lean-to with it as well. So. Uh, I'd like to line the roof of any kind of shelter we build with like a pla real like a plastic garbage bag. Just I don't think that's asking too much. I see that all the time in, in survival videos. They've always got their plastic fucking oh, trash bag. And so you don't have, like I watched a, I watched a video of survival, and it took them something like six hours to get the the proper amount of bushes to put on the back of the lean to to make it waterproof. Like a, a trash bag's instant waterproof. Yeah, yeah a trash all... bag would be nice if you guys are really opposed to the trash bag. Keeping in mind it's going to be raining and thunderstorms on night two and sub 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's in the 30s three nights. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Tough titty. 
tough titty. <laughs> um, you know, I'd, I'd really like cuddle. to be able to bring my, my, my plastic trash bag with me. I hope that's not asking too much. Um, like I said, um, I think that, and I would like my fishing rod. And keep in mind, can you show him the fishing rod or, or some of it? Or did you? Uh, I, I put it away, but I can show it again. Oh. Did you already show it? I did, but it, I, I, I'm not lazy about it. It's tiny. It's yeah. tiny. It's, and, and this to is be the honest, case it comes like, in. Yeah. Hmm. Is that like a survival one? Like, like in an emergency, here's a fishing it's, rod? It's, it's designed for people that camp. Or hike or whatever. I guess it's designed for hiking because it's so tiny that it it's. I'm just thinking. Oh, well, that's campy then. That's campy. Why don't you just bring a brim buster or something? What is that? I don't know what a brim buster is. That's why. Brim I like the fact. A, brim buster is a. It's about this this big when it's fully in, but you can like spread it out like this, and it's a line. He's famous for catching brim. Hmm. Catch I, any kind of fish you want to catch. I like that this one's all. Comes in all these pieces. It seems more like survival gear than fishing gear. I actually because... wanted one that telescoped. I thought that would be ideal, but as we read reviews, the telescopy ones, no one thought they were any good. Yeah. So, by the way, wings, we always try to get it. you when we have these like, you know, yeah. survival <laughs> mission <laughs> shopping I, I go to sleep at eight thirty. P.M. P.M. Yeah. Or A.M. Because some of these talks happen in like the middle of the day and yeah, we don't can't. even listen to wings wing sleeps whenever he feels like it His, he doesn't have a schedule whatsoever i go to sleep at 8 30 p.m sounds like he's super disciplined and he's like up exercising at four in the morning that's not the deal probably his sleep schedule revolved all the way around the clock <laughs> yeah, oh that's it, what happened yeah it's what always happens but but what i'm trying to say is don't feel like we like intentionally left you out of the, right. the fishing oh. rod talk because Dude, we, I, I can't afford to get you. fishing rods anyway so yeah, I'm, I'm all good well, regardless, uh, there were we've had a couple of talks like that where we, we you know we went over the location trying to really pinpoint a way to to do it so there's uh, you know not tons of hiking because we don't want your you to get those blisters and I don't want blisters either. That's the other thing. Footwear. Uh, I'm gonna wear some fucking sneakers. No complain about my gear. And I got appropriate sneak. footwear. I, uh, I I don't know why sneakers wouldn't work. Water moccasins. They probably will, but. Yeah, I just I just don't think it would matter. I think I'm just gonna wear my sneakers and yeah. bring two pairs of socks and make sure I keep them dry. If we were doing big hiking where we were like really going places, I think you'd want better boots. And I'm gonna wear them just because I have them. But uh, but I don't see any problem with sneakers. I'm really upset. I've got I've got some really nice boots. Am I the only person paid for? What? Am I the only person that wants this trip to go nice and smooth? I like to get there, get set up. We have our camp set up the first day. Maybe take us six hours to build the shelter. Fire goes off without a hitch. Maybe got a little bit of light left. We throw the pole out there, catch two or three fish. You know. That's a beautiful day, Wings, and I hope it happens that way. It's but I just think totally not going to happen. It's totally not going to happen. So should we talk about that? Because because Wings wasn't there when we talked about the schedule either. Do you want to do that on the air? You want to yes. talk about? Yeah, let's work it out. We think we should get to the meetup place, which I won't say online, but I'll be happy to, to send it to you, Wings. But we think we should arrive at the meetup place at, did we say 8.30 a.m.? I would get the, find out when, when do they open, and then let's pick a realistic time. That probably makes more sense. Because if they open at 7 a.m., then yeah, we could get there at 8, but they may not open until 9 or 10. Of course, it is the kind of place that would be open early. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to drive that three and a half hours that morning or if I'm going to spend the night uh, in the area. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wake up about three and a half hours early, throw my shit in the bed of the truck and drive. Yeah, right? I wish you were on the way and I'd come and hang out at your house and maybe shoot some, uh, some, um, some video over there, have some fun with that. But we're all kind of coming from different directions. Well, I don't I'm see any hours be... on this place. We'll have to find it. But let's let's target 8.30. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to have to get up at like 5, 5.30 in the morning uh, to make it happen. But I can do that. So would Wings. You know, yeah. if Wings is what, two and a half hours away? Two and a half, yeah. I'm, I'm going to probably get about five at... and just drive. You'd have to leave at 7.30. Why would you no, leave at 7.30 to make it 8.30? 5.30, 5.30, <laughs> right? Driving? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> driving a rocket car. You'd have to leave at 5.30, so I don't know when, if you wake up at 5, can you get out of the house at 5.30 if you're prepped? Yeah. I guess so, since you go to bed at 8.30, right? Yeah. 
I usually wake up about four. Now, that's anyway. true. Now, like, like the he he did Skype me like early in the a.m. and uh, and I and he's like, oh, I'm up at this time now, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I ignored it because it's way too fucking early to be talking to wings, but you know, it was early. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, reason we want to get started early, obviously, is we want to get any last minute gear, uh, including licensing, et cetera, um, you know, anything uh, that we may need at the last minute, and then we want to get to the place where we're going to set up our camp as soon as possible because, you know, the nighttime is coming. And what do they say in Game of Thrones? It, it's it's uh, long and dark and full of terrors or something? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's no good. So but I yeah, think the, so the most important... I, so fire, then shelter. I'm ready to, to wrap up the topic. I might be... I don't know if any other people are... Thinking yeah, yeah, that. probably so. Probably so. I think we got to go. I want to bring a poncho. I'm down. Yeah, I don't think anyone's restricting clothing. Can wings bring a poncho? That's the question of the day. Not, why are we asking for permission from these fucks? They just because want to kill they're me. the viewers. I think they get some input. They don't get to decide. They, they don't get to, to kill say you. Yes or no. I asked they, about the sailing thing, and they're all and, and the guy is like, "Bring an annoying person who's going to make you want to jump overboard." Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do the sailing thing. You guys pay to get the boat like ship shape. That thing needs about four or five grand worth of work on it. You guys put together a fucking Kickstarter for that shit. Fix my boat? Yeah, we'll settle the Bahamas. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> With no food. These people never have our best <laughs> interests in mind. Ever, ever, never. The, it, the whole thing is just like, I want them to hurt more. It, it's, and it, it's over... Yeah, you gotta look out for yourself at some point and bring a goddamn fishing rod. I don't know how to yeah, fish. I I, didn't, I thought it came with line. I don't know how to put the line on the reel, and I'm using this thing to survive for a week. What, you, what, what kind of line are you going to put on there? What pound test? Four, because the <laughs> the box said between two and six, and four is in the go. middle. Think of that. These are, this is the lightest weight fishing rod you can possibly get. All the reviews are like, yeah, it's great for bait fish, but don't, you know, and there's all these like complaints about it breaking on big fish, the yeah. kind we're fishing for. I won't like, be able to not, share with Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing some serious test line here. I'm going to try to set up fishing traps. I can't speak for what Wings is going to do. The box said it, it should be between two and six pound test. And this apparently means something to you people. I just thought two to six. All right. I guess I want four because it's in the middle. <laughs> test is tensile strength. I, I know what it is. I guess that's how much weight it is before the string breaks. Maybe I should get six since Kyle seems to think those are low numbers. I didn't even know that was a low number. I thought six pound test. <laughs> That must be the high number. It's pretty Not, high, I guess, for if, you know, for some of the fish we're fishing. Like, like it would be fine for the bass and stuff, but some of this catfish can get enormous. You, you dog. <laughs> Catfish can get a 90 to 100 pounds. You're not going to catch that. You're not even going to come close to catching catfish with what y'all got. I will. I saw dirty jobs. Stick you better be out. hitting that motherfucker with a stick. We're going to send you in <laughs> to, uh, to noodle for them. That's right. Noodling. That's the word I was searching for. Yeah. Dude, this is going to be flipping awesome. I'm completely excited about this. The level of equipment that we're bringing is perfect, regardless of what anybody says. And the trip is the, the length is perfect. The, the the worst part is we're doing it a little early. Remember how hard I pushed for wings to do it April 14th? Yes. May 14th would have been better. Because <laughs> 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 cause I didn't I didn't I looked at what normal temperatures were, right, for this time of year. And it was supposed to get down to like 49 at night. Not was 34 the low number? I don't 36, know what the fuck going. It's like a parallel dimension because it's 50 degrees at night here, and it's like 35 over there. You're right. You're right. Two nights are 37, and one is 36. That's freezing freaking cold. Yeah. You guys, trust me, we're going to suffer plenty. No sleeping bags. Have I mentioned that? Like, yeah. I think some people are don't realize that. And when, you see, when you say camping and there's no sleeping bag or a tent. I Come on. You guys look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but below here is like 60 all night, like the entire week. And well, you, for some reason, y'all found here. the void of Earth and time. <laughs> <laughs> 35 degrees. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be really cold. Uh, the low this week is 57 in Conway. I'm just saying that. <laughs> we can go to if, Wings if, if by like day two or three we haven't caught a fish, I'm going to start... I'm gonna start scavenging or something. I don't know what. what the fuck You'll we're be do. fine. You'll eat my dead body if we don't catch a fish by day three. Wow, that's gonna suck. I'm so, sweet. are we doing PKA from the woods or what's the deal here? <laughs> I don't know. There might not be a PKA on Friday of next week. It, it depends, right? Like if the trip fails and we're out by Wednesday, mm -hmm. then um, 
Yeah, then there's a PK on Friday. <laughs> I, I, I got a I got a PK idea for Lefty. You do the PK by yourself, 167. You're smoking a cigar. You're eating chicken. You're like those motherfuckers died. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should record the we should record the next PKA um, as soon as we can when we get back and get the whole group together and we can discuss what happened on the trip and that would be a good way to promote the videos that would be upcoming. That sounds great, and I guess a lot of it depends on when we get home and how things go and how we're feeling, how sick we are. Yeah, man, it's you know it it, it is a concern that this could go really poorly and there could be no food. Yeah, I, and have we covered how much I know about fishing? I don't know how to put the line on the people were fussing that I'm bringing a rod. I might not use it. I might literally tie a square knot, putting some bait on a line, and throw it with my hands into the river because I don't know how to use the rod. Yeah. You ever you ever been you ever would use the uh, the soda can rod and reel? No, I've never heard of that. Well, you tie you tie the uh, test around the soda can, and then you throw the line out there with a, like a rock as a sinker, and you use the can to like be a reel. You put your finger in the drink hole and like spin it. Yeah, and you like spin it, and, and it brings the line back. That sounds like a way to sever the tip of your finger. Let's talk about failure. All right. What if, uh, what if there's a failure? How will the trip? Sh- let's say that one person should decide that they've had enough. Would the trip continue? You're yes. trying to say I'm going to do it. I'm not trying to say no that. No one's it's calling be... you out, no right? Way. But no, hypothetically, no, no. someone let's has a say, hypoglycemic attack. One drinks water that, and they get contaminated. And let's say Woody gets diarrhea and he's throwing up, and he just got to go. Would I would be okay with continuing with Wings of Redemption and myself? You'd be a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed that Woody doesn't go down. <laughs> Wings is probably secretly hoping like he's gonna bring like a Mickey or something to slip into your water cup at Dude. night and like up oh, up oh, Woody's sick gotta go later y'all. I, I I don't think you understand the level of hell that I'm gonna be going through on this trip. You're really over. Yeah, why is your level this... of hell any different than ours? Yeah, you're blowing this out of proportion uh, first of all, cause it's gonna be some cold nights, but we're gonna have a big fire. There's going to be some, uh, you know, maybe some hungry times. but And, hey, I don't want to hear anything about how you don't like fish because that's absurd. Woody doesn't like fish. Does anybody know that? Did, does anyone here – was anyone here aware that Woody hates fish? Yeah, Not but Woody all. probably doesn't violently vomit when he eats fish. I Woody do. doesn't talk – you violently vomit when you eat fish. I, I can't hold it down. It's the texture. It's not It's not the taste. I'm not allergic to it anyway. That's bullshit. Just, no one believes you violently bullshit. vomit no from eating one, fish. Okay, anyone – there's, there's 100,000 people that are going to watch this shit. Please, if any of you have a disorder in which there is a type of food, an animal that if you eat it, you violently vomit, I want to know. I, I am think we're not the only one. Animals. That's like my number one life skill. <laughs> Man, I, I, don't, I mean. I, Textures of food can sometimes mess with me. I, 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 I feel like, it, dude, I hate fish. I really do. I never eat fish. It's been decades since I've enjoyed a fish meal. My When's the last made, time you were at a restaurant where the, you know, the, the meal was going to cost more than like twenty or thirty bucks, and you picked fish? That has never instead happened. Instead of steak. Yeah, <laughs> never no, happened. that's not a thing never that once. I would do. Um, I. I I don't like fish. I don't order fish. Every now and then again, I try it, and I'm reminded of how much I hate fish. Um, I had, my wife made catfish like three weeks ago, the first time in about a year and a half. I didn't finish it. I just, like I had a couple bites of it. I gave it a good go. I found that it wasn't worthy and I had apples with peanut butter for dinner. Thank you, Wings of Redemption. And, uh, I, I don't enjoy fish. Fish is going to be the only thing we're eating. I haven't said a flipping word about it, right? Like nothing. Like I bet I'll eat fish on this trip. I'm hoping, I'm counting on the fact that... When I'm starving, fish taste damn good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the that's the fa- that's the fact I'm counting on. I'm like mother. And also get crawfish. Enough. So there's apparently a lot of crawfish in this river. Now I don't know. You need you to catch those in a shallow area to get those. But um, I'd like to ask the PKA audience for permission to bring some water bottles, just some plastic trash that I could make crawfish traps out of. You realize you can catch crawfish with your hands, though, right? You realize if we made traps, I can be doing other things than getting wet in the water, splashing around for crawfish. I just want to set five or six bottle traps and then go and collect firewood for the rest of the day, and maybe I've got five crawfish to boil at night. What are we going to do for bait? Uh, the crawfish would work great. you got to catch I, I, something I'm first. Saying, we got water bo- if we can bring plastic water bottles, I can make cricket traps. 
Yeah, exactly. So now I think plastic talking. water bottles would be a cool. That's the uh, can do wings we need on this trip, baby. Make some cricket traps. A cricket traps yeah. are easy as shit to make. <laughs> to you, I don't know how to make a cricket trap. You cut the top off the bottle and yeah, bury yeah. it in the ground, and you put some rotten fruit in there. There's a better way. You cut the top off, and then you spin it around, put the top back in it, and push it snug, and take the bottle cap off. Cricket comes in, jumps through the bottle cap, can't get back out. Nice. You yeah. put some sort of bait in the bottom, you right? Put, you put some kind of fruit or berry or whatever you can find around inside the bottle. All right. That sounds awesome. And then can you catch a fish with a cricket? A yes. Because I normally thought you use a worm. Normally, I fish for crickets. It would be nice to have crawfish from what I've read about the fish in that area. You normally fish with crickets? See, yeah, that implies you normally fish. You know what I normally fish with? I don't normally fish. I used we, to have uh, a boat. <laughs> I've, done a lot, I I've, done, I've done some fishing in my life. I've got, a, I've got a couple ponds at my house, and, and I did a lot of catfishing growing up, so... We would always use like chicken and you know chicken intestines, chicken livers. Wait, the way we catfish is illegal. How do you, how do you catfish? Tell me more about this method. You, you take a shock rod and you drag it behind the boat. Okay, yeah, that's illegal. That's I that's through <laughs> illegal. But um, setting up uh, a jug line wouldn't be illegal. No, we, no, we had like we a jug. jug. But uh, we could we could set one of those up across the river. I'm psyched, man. It's not that far from now. As we record this, it's Friday. On yeah. Monday morning, we'll be driving to the yeah. to you to the to the place, and I'm psyched. Yeah. So day one officially starts Monday. Day yes. Monday is day one. Day, Monday is day one, and it's happening. Do, mm. uh, it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be hard to succeed. It's gonna be discomforting. I wish we had cool. Stone Mountain 64 with us. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> he sounds like he's official. Like when he's giving yeah. those callouts from the plane, it seems like he. <laughs> I like wish maybe I, he knows what he's talking about. I wish he would commentate my shit. I won't be taking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's uh, just that's. Do we need a new topic? Oh, so one on. more, one more survival question. Right. One more for the group. So I, so we got to build this survival shelter, and I had thought it would be a cool idea for us all to make our own shelters. But Wings of Redemption wants to make one big shelter. I'm thinking mm -hmm. one big shelter. <laughs> I know you want your own shelter. And, but it, I think one big shelter takes advantage of one fire better than multiple shelters. I want that fire can... to be 18 inches from where I'm sleeping. Yeah. Mm. Also, we okay. could take a, a fire wall we could make, like by you know putting things in the ground and just stacking up wood so the wind blocks from the fire and also radiates the heat towards the shelter better. Yeah, we were talking. That's the fire. a similar we idea with the, the like, tinfoil thing. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, I I think one big shelter is probably a smarter idea. I want my own. Yeah, but you can but like have your own, but it's gonna be like six feet from the fire because that's the nature of individual I want my shelters. Own fire. You want and your also, own fire here's, too? Goodness. Here's the thing, though, Kyle. Like I think I think we talked in the group chat. Like, what happens when you want three individual shelters and there's no trees close to each other to make them anywhere close to the vicinity? I'll, I don't need trees to make my shelter. And I just thought it would be cool if we each had a shelter and we could be like, this is what, like a science fair. Like, this is what Kyle made. He decided he wanted to be really comfortable. Like, he's got, he's dug a hole out and he's put this and that and he did this and this. And Woody, Woody just didn't give a fuck. And Woody's just got leaves everywhere. And, <laughs> and Wings has burrowed into the earth and he's down there like a troll would, somewhere. Mine looks like be... a bird nest. There's just a bunch of sticks on the ground with a hole. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think we all. I think all of our shelter know-how, which comes from YouTube, needs to be correlated into YouTube. one. <laughs> it's all YouTube know-how. I'm going to be completely honest, but but I still stand by the fact that my belief that enough knowledge will will get you by. I, I I've like been the... consuming. Uh, I I've really worked on my information diet of Les Stroud and New Boston, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm on. I've been steadily consuming a healthy information I'm, diet. Of I have been watching techniques. knot tying videos and how to <laughs> how to um, you know employ those knots to to situations we'll need them in, lashing and stuff like that. And also learning how to fucking skin catfish. Oh, here's an item I'd like to bring, folks catfish skinning pliers because otherwise I have to like tear its skin off with my fucking fingernails or something because these things are like eels and you gotta rip the skin off if before you make a vote that says I can't bring catfish skinning pliers watch a catfish skinning video 
and look at how hard it's like peeling carpet off I, a I, floor. I've, I've seen this shit in real life. The shit sucks. And oh, it's, and catfish can't you can just sting like you? fillet this catfish and then eat to the skin and throw it away? I think the skin is really it's it's like an it's like an eel and I've and everybody skins them. That's just how they prepare them. I, don't I know think you could fillet. I, I, you probably could fillet them though, Woody. But like the bad thing about catfish, they got fucking teeth. <sighs> what does well, that? Have I was to gonna do? wait till they died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, have you ever? Oh, you're gonna, gonna wait, you go wait till they die. You better be hitting that motherfucker in the head. I've seen a catfish live out of water seven hours. I didn't know that was a thing, but yes, was, I'm, I'm was more than happy to hit that, anything I'm about. Was to it eat under the bucket head. with that kitten? No, it was not under that bucket. <laughs> was it some sort of experiment that you do in your backyard? <laughs> I if, if there's I wouldn't, say that, I wouldn't call you Wings of Redemption Master of Fire. So Wings, no. you're bringing a, a fishing pole though, right? No. I thought, I thought you, you said were. you had great poles or something. I do have great poles, but like, do you want me to bring one of my nice, like, you know, two hundred dollar rod and reels? I yeah, I accept your terms. <laughs> I, I have no, I, you know, I don't, I don't care if he brings his rod. It's, I, you know, you you can decide on your own if the if, if what you care what the fans say. I think they would say no to like a really nice rod. I I, I think I don't know. I don't, does a rod even do much? It just throws the lure, right? It also doesn't break. Like the stuff you got, if you caught like a trout or a catfish, it would destroy it. Uh, I hope not. Almost instantly, most likely. We're gonna see. Oh, I don't know. I've never. Well, I bought a rod once. I bought a I bought a fishing rod a couple years ago because my buddy was uh. He, we were staying at the ocean for a week and in, in, in like Cape Hatteras area and he loved to like do this shoreline fishing so he bought this really long rod and he just stand there and shoreline fish and, and I felt stupid just like hanging out with him and talking so I bought a rod too and uh, I'd hardly even cast he's like aren't you gonna reel it in it's like well fuck I don't have to cast it again I don't I'm not really here for the fish <laughs> I'm just talking so yeah I have well, a saltwater really, rod you did it's supposed to like make the make the bait more tempting because it's moving and makes it look like it's alive. Yeah, see, you're talking as if I was interested in. If what what would it, if what if I caught a fish? <laughs> then I have that to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> but this week will be different. So yeah, I'm not a fisherman in the slightest, and I'm not a hunter. Um, we can't shoot stuff, but I feel like I could pick up hunting quicker than fishing because I'm a I'm a competent shot. I. I have I have confidence that that this river is going to have fish in it because I kept reading about this river and how many fish were in it and all the different species, and I picked a particular spot where there's some there's some interesting stuff going on in the river which I think would be conducive to some some shallow. I, I fish. think we're going to run into fucking problems getting bait because we're not taking like night crawlers with us. That's where we're going to run into trouble at. Yeah, we'll handle bait. It just won't be a big deal. We'll 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 catch minnows with a bottle, or we'll we'll catch crawfish with our hands, and we'll make bait. Hmm. Or we'll, right. we'll, we'll. I don't know uh, what we're gonna do the first day. First I, day. I want to build a shelter the first day. I don't care if we. Fish we're back on survival talk, but man, if we meet up at eight thirty, we might leave at like on nine thirty. I'm I'm sorry, nine nine fifteen, and then we yeah. could. Park the the trucks at nine forty, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, it might be. It, it's not crazy to think it's ten a.m. as we start walking towards the area. And, and I think with what I the, on the map there, I think we can drive really close and really deep into the woods on that service road. Can I? Can I? Can I make a request? What? Uh, well, we should probably eat one. breakfast before we start. Dude. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I. <laughs> I'm not going to bring food on the trip, but I'm going to bring a full belly. That, <laughs> that, yeah, that's allowed. Yeah, that I'll bring. Yeah, that's totally allowed. I'm just saying, like you, we, we should push that time up like another hour and let's get some breakfast in. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to have breakfast before I leave and then breakfast again when I get there. Because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't officially start until we head into the woods. Exactly. I yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go hobbit on this shit. I don't have Kyle's hairy feet, second but breakfast. but I can do second breakfast. I, I don't. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, since we're back on it again. Uh, yeah. Here's one of my major goals. I want to kill and eat a snake because, um, for one thing, I want to see what it tastes like, and I think they're pretty easy to skin and gut from the videos that oh, I've watched easy. on the internet. And 
Some guy on the on the subreddit said he'd sponsor a full show if we killed and ate a snake. There's and a guy on the subreddit that up. said this is uh, reddit.com slash r slash pka. He said that he would suck everybody's dick if this survival thing actually happens. That was yeah, a mistake, Vic. Like, how old is he? So I was like, you, you got some dick sucking he needs to have. <laughs> <laughs> Watch my videos. I give tips. <laughs> oh, you so, yeah, I, yeah, but I would love to get a snake, though. That would be huge. I would like to get this fucking shelter knocked down on the, the before anything else happens because yeah, we know that it. Tuesday is going to rain. Dude, I'm so psyched about this. I know we're not supposed to talk about it exclusively, but I can't help myself. I I think that we should like you know walk there immediately, like throw some lines in the river somehow. I, I know we don't have bait figured out, and then start collecting firewood and building shelter while the lines sit there. Yeah, that sounds like a thing. Even now, if I don't eat the first two days, I just want that shelter because I do not want to get rained on. You're yeah, man, it, getting rained on would really fucking suck. It would, especially when it's nice and cold at night at 30 degrees. Dude, 36 degrees, we're not far from snow. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just going to get hard. I can't believe it's going to be that cold. And I'm, some some douchebag, I'm calling you out over on the PKA subreddit, he was, like, he was like, that's no big deal. I go hunting and it's negative fifteen degrees Fahrenheit. Everybody's got thermal like, long yeah, johns. Like a sleeping bag and, and you know thermals and camping gear. He's like, no, nothing but my knife and my rifle. And I'm like, you're I'm like, full of shit. Uh oh, we got a badass over here. He's a liar. <laughs> he's a liar. No one voluntarily liar. goes into the woods with a knife and a rifle <laughs> I don't believe you. and no food and no Are shelter. You Rambo. Yeah. Oh, nice job, Rambo. Thanks for joining the subreddit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone on the internet's a tough guy. But the true tough guys film it and upload it to YouTube. That's exactly fucking right. <laughs> and I don't want anybody talking any shit if they can't go out and do something better. Yes. I don't really care. I'll talk all the shit I want. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, did we talk? We, we should talk about Lefty. What about Lefty? How we want him to do little segments? Like we'll send him like. Segments oh no no no! Shh, no no! That's, that's <laughs> that comes in later. Those are good. <laughs> All I can say is I got two of these bad boys. I'm ready to start fighting. Lefty's going to get his survival money too. Don't worry. We all money whores here. Wait, what did Lefty hold up to the camera? Uh, these are torch he's lighters. Got, I guess. He's got lighters. Oh, oh, hey, do you want to talk about the giveaway that we're going to be able to do on this thing? I don't remember it. Now, refresh my memory. Uh, Sog is sending us uh, one oh. of the knives that uh, we've all got. One of the sealed... The knife that you and the you and Navy Elite have, right? or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They're they're gonna uh, give us one of those to give away. Really? To someone, you know, um, from for the show, I guess. How how should they win this thing? That that's why I brought it up. I I, I gave it a little thought, but I don't really know because you know we've got a couple of different groups. We've got the people who watch the podcast. We've got the subreddit, and we've got your subscribers. We've got wing subscribers. We've got the viewers who watch. Uh, the survival videos we make about this thing, I think that's where we should target them on the people actually watching the survival videos on. I know, on I know how we do it. I know how we do it. We put something in the videos that you have to spot, and we never say anything about it. And then at the end of the video, you got we just boop. If you've seen this, you win a sog knife. No, that won't work. Um, there, there, I think that it, what we're gonna have to do is. You'll we'll do it the old school way, and you'll leave a comment on one of uh, Wings, Woody's, or my videos, and you also have to be subscribed or something like that. And we'll pick one. We'll pick somebody randomly or something. I have an idea. Google Plus might be able to help. Maybe we should keep thinking about this. But one yeah. thought is like Wings' this thing. What if we left a code across the videos, right? Like maybe Kyle has a. I don't know, a, a bunch of rocks arranged in a letter as he starts a fire, and, and Wings has something similar as he skins a catfish, and I've got something similar as I build a shelter, and it spells a word, and whoever gets it, you know, wins it. Yeah, but the problem is that, like, we've got a whole subreddit of people who would be, like, posting every time they saw one, and there would be a running <laughs> list. Oh, you're totally right. <laughs> There'd be a be running like, list, and everyone this, would know the answer. There's a K I, I, in Woody's video. Of course, that'd be How about this? If, if, if you're disqualified if you post. They wouldn't care. <laughs> not, <laughs> not everyone. That, the same Brand reason we can't YouTube shoot squirrels. Account. Not everyone who watches is a fan. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. We'll have to think it through on how to give this thing away. But we have one of these pretty expensive knives that right. uh, we're all going to be using. The knife that all three of us will be using to, to give away to one of you viewers. At least one of you. I may be getting some more shit. 
I got a question. I recently got a machete. Should I take my time to sharpen that bitch? No, it, machetes aren't supposed to have a sharp edge. They're made for hacking all day. Okay. So I, good, oh, good. Let me put myself in the foreground here. And from what I saw, that's that a pretty cool about. machete. I'm more excited about the saw blade on the back, though. Oh, yeah, it works right. wonderful, too. It does. It's got a saw blade and also has a, a, a spot where it has a blade on the top of it so you can actually use and you can hit it with, like, a rock so you can pull down on stuff. So yeah, you want to hit it with a, a stick. If you guys want to know what the knife is, maybe you want to Google or something. It's a SOG... Seal Team Elite. Seal Team Elite. Yeah. Mine's and nowhere near as good looking as Woody's right now. And I'm going to be years. I'm going to be using some different SOG gear for the uh, for the trip. I've got I've got a SOG shovel. Uh, all my all my shit's SOG. It's, so I've got the shovel and the the hatchet and the knife. I saw Wings. He did a video where he's showing his equipment on the bed of his pickup truck, and uh, his knife was beat looking. Like it was it, it, it was kind of it was like dirt on the case, and um and you could tell it had like done a thing or two. Whereas mine is fresh. I think I've opened some boxes and cut across some shotgun shells and stuff with it. I get attached to stuff that has like done a thing with me, right? You know, w silly things like my backpack. I, I not not the one I'm taking on the trip, the bigger one. Um, that bigger one, I've had it on four continents, so five continents, I think. Yeah, five continents with me, and I feel kind of attached to it. There's a water bottle in there that that I depended on at one point, and I'm like fond of it. I'm like, all right, I remember you. You you and I went through this together. And uh, I saw Wings' knife, and not that it's been, like, you know, through the world with him, but it was like, yeah, that thing's getting started towards being a thing that, that he relied on at one point, you know? What are you talking about? I'm bringing that bitch on me to a survival trip. It's Surviving gonna, the wilderness with it. Right, that's a plan. That's not a, a, a history, right? You know, and so far, that knife's only been in the backyard. But to look at it, it's like that thing got started. So far, my thing's only been in the kitchen, you know? So, so I'm not throwing stones. But there will be a point where it was like, yeah, I wore that knife for a week. You should bring that guitar and play us some campfire songs. That yeah. would just I'm be just punishing saying, Sog, for If you're everybody. out there, I could use a SOG machete if you want to send me one. <laughs> right now i got a Gerber. They don't have enough time. <laughs> you should have. I bet, I bet that could have happened. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so we'll give them away and maybe you'll uh, create your own stories with it. Yes. So I like. I noticed Wings' whiteboard's been updated. You are 384? It has not been updated. It's old. Update. I am uh, I am uh, 378 right now. Update it. I don't have markers. This what? is the can't wings. This mm. is the I'm finding. Ooh. I literally don't have markers. I had that one red marker and it dried out. I don't have any in the house. You got some lipstick. <laughs> How would I have lipstick? You got a sister. That that is a valid point. <laughs> but, I, but I'd like to get the whiteboard. Fair enough. All right, we'll let that drop. Yeah. Yes. I guess yeah, it's just get, you got off happen. easy wings. Just mm -hmm. like, no. All right. Let's, we, let's hey, hey here's easy. a question. Here's a question for for the PKA fans out there. Should we bring a bottle of booze on the trip? And get Hell a wing? No. Oh, they're gonna say yes, and I'm totally not doing it. Ah. No, that would be that would be silly. We need to do Come a drinking on. episode. I was gonna. Wow. I was actually oh gonna. God. I was actually gonna ask earlier this week if this this show should have been the drinking episode. I Just have to protect myself from the fans because every <laughs> bad decision is one that they're in favor of. If you're listening to this right now and you're like, yeah, you guys should totally get loaded one night out in the woods alone, drunk and dehydrated and tired and sick. That sounds great. Some 36 <laughs> degree freezing rain episode where you're all loaded. If you're thinking that sounds cool right now, you might enjoy the show, but you don't like me. <laughs> you know, you don't want good headache. things for me in life. You want bad things to happen to me for your entertainment. And I get that. That's part of a viewership. But if that's what you're thinking right now, then you're not actually on my side. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Let me run this past you two gentlemen. Mm. What if it was like a really tasty bottle of peach schnapps, which, no, which just no, tastes no. like candy? I'll use that shit to start fires. Alcohol um, dehydrates you, and dehydration. Is we're gonna have so level. much motherfucking water. When I understand we're just... next to gallons and gallons of this bullshit, but I still don't want to sit there pump that goddamn filter to get it when I oh, drink it. Oh the pumping of the <laughs> filter is gonna be the least it's difficult thing, thing we do. Yeah. Um, so easy. I wanted to bring a pot because I wanted to try the rock trick I've always seen. You know, where you heat a rock up and then drop it in the pot and see if it boils instantly. 
Oh, I've seen that. I've seen it. Yeah. I've never done that. I've never done that, though. Um, I have done the other thing with the water bottle where you put it in the fire and the and the plastic doesn't melt. I've done uh, that yeah. a bunch. You can put... I, would, I feel like you're going to get cancer doing that, though. Oh, it's not a good idea. That's not. I don't plan on doing it, but I tried <laughs> it. I saw it on the internet, wondered if it was true, and proved it. I even did a couple things. What you need to do is fill the water bottle to the tippy top. The tippy top. And then you can get like hot boiling water. The bottle will expand a little bit and, and do its thing. If you fill the water bottle like say two inches from the top, which I've also done, then the part that doesn't have water next to it melts away and falls into the fire. And what you get is a water cup. <laughs> Very so it, cool. It's the water yeah. inside the bottle that's stopping it from melting. Apparently, yeah. and I might be, I'm getting outside my depth in science here. You know, I, I've done the experiment. But what I'm told is the explanation is, Water only gets 212 degrees. You heat it more and um, the evaporation from the steam keeps it at roughly 212 degrees. Um, this is Fahrenheit, 100 Celsius, of course. And uh, um, so, yeah, it's, it's the water boiling that stops it from getting hotter, which is above the melting point of the plastic. Uh, you have to tell the subs about that. Well, here's the thing with crawfish. Um, you... you you're supposed to purge them, which is how you get the poop out of the crawfish. And the way you do that is by putting them in, pouring salt water on them, and they poop. Oh. And then... <laughs> I really thought where you were headed with that was, you're supposed to get the poop out, but in lieu of that, we're just going to salt the fuck out <laughs> no, of them. No, no. <laughs> using the salt water, it, 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 purges their, uh, it purges their digestive system, so you little, can rinse them. and you little garlic rinse powder, them. you don't even notice the poop. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. So it's a little bit safety measure, but also, you know, if if I, I looked at this as is a, a slash between sort of a mountain man adventure and like sort of a scenario survival situation, um, because from the beginning, you know, we didn't want to go too crazy with the with the one match point system or whatever. So I got no problem with that. No reason why we shouldn't have some salt and pepper for our mm -hmm. disgusting catfish that we're going to be eating if you're, we're you're... lucky. This is still ridiculous. It's How crazy, so? right? This I can't is. believe uh, can't believe we're actually so? going to pull the trigger on this thing. <laughs> that my nephew called my mom and told my mom to tell you not to go. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> he was on the show one time. Yes, he was. Yeah, what happened is a bunch of people got shot at West Virginia, like that college. Remember that West Virginia shooting? Yeah, the, the crazy Asian kid. Yeah, he's a student there. So we, he like gave us a breakdown of what it was really like on campus and what people but were doing. But it wasn't doing. that one. It was a different one. What? It was a different shooting. Wasn't so it West Virginia, you get shot up a lot. It was the West Virginia shooting. Yeah, the big I thought, one. I thought it wasn't the big one. It was the like, big one was like Virginia five, Tech, like wasn't it? A couple it? years ago. It was Virginia Tech. But yeah. He's only been there for three. Well, okay, it was three years ago. He was a freshman. It wasn't three years ago. It was! I bet you a dollar. I'll it take it! big one. Yeah, what do you I'm mean the sure big right. one? I'm right. It's been a while. I'm totally right. You're not right. Okay, we should bet more. I bet a dollar. I want non-monetary things. You're not getting non-monetary <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> things to be named and bargained for later. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, that happened. There was the it was Virginia Tech. You're right. I said it wrong. It was the Virginia Tech shooting, and um, I think they hadn't caught the guy yet, and the whole campus was under like a state of lockdown. And he called on the show and told us what it was like. Yes, but I don't think it was that shooting with the Asian guy. It okay. You can choose not to think that, but we all know. Whatever. I bet you a dollar. I'll bet you two dollars. Two dollars, you're on. And fifty cents. I bet you two dollars. I bet you three dollars and fifty cents. I'll take it. Okay, fine. Well, it, here's the thing: the Virginia Tech massacre happened in two thousand and seven. Yeah, bite me. <laughs> yeah. Told well, you so. That's not the one I was talking about. Well, well was, that's the one you it were was implying to. a school to. shooting of some kind. Pain kill already has only been on the air four years. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Wait, yeah. It was not the same shooting you were talking about. It, it was someone was there, but it was not the one with the Asian kid that you're thinking of. I was hoping Jackie said to rack up the old uh, ante there. Let's see how far Woody could get down the rabbit hole. Yeah, no, it wasn't the one you were thinking of. It was more of an incident. Should have gambled for some of those non-monetary things then. Yeah, I could have lost and still been set. Really? <laughs> we all know that you follow through on those non-monetary things. 
Yeah, but you could. Ha your yeah, non-monetary like things could coding. be like housework and home improvement. It never happens. Oh, I still haven't yeah. had Wayne's coding in the 15 years we've been here. That's not the kind of thing I was betting. No, <laughs> I know that's not. But that's what I would have bet. Gosh yeah, that's, darn that's it! You, so yes. what was the thing? Where's my three dollars and fifty cents? I want my money. <laughs> I don't have three. I know you do. Pull, what he's pulling out hundreds and stuff. <laughs> These are just twenties. I don't. My my. I like to keep my um my wallet like mega super thin. It's not even a wallet it's, now. It's just a money clip. I've got like the world. It's world's... just a money clip. It's so silly. It's not silly. It's a Disney money clip. Hold it's your wallet silly. up. Tell me who has a thinner setup than this. Okay, let me just say this. I Mine this. is. I, I carry a standard wallet, but I'm just saying, if, if no, mine, no, like, no, no, no. he carries board, a Gucci there's wallet. There's no possibility that everything yeah, you have a Gucci I have wallet to the world. It's a Gucci yeah, well, wallet. I've got a couple of different ones. I, I, the Hope one I'm carrying now. Your is wallet a, was is so feminine, my daughter teased you about it. Look. Look. Whoa. Whoa. Slow right. down. <laughs> I think yeah, I actually changed that. Well, that. yeah, I'm a little bit speechless now, <laughs> so slow down. Nah, this thing is thick. Hang on. It's so thin that when I get singles and stuff, I just give them to Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was not feminine. I was a money it's clip too, but like, I, got, I actually got one dollar in it. <laughs> <laughs> like med medical supplies, what are we going to bring? You just got that first aid kit, but we don't even know what's in it. I haven't even unzipped it. Would that ruin it, or should we just bring it's like first aid surprise? Shit, it would be nice to know what's in it, right? I'd like to know we had some band aids and some aspirin. Yeah, that's you I mean, and your you band aids. If you have a wound that can be fixed by a band aid, you're not wounded. I thought you were just gonna use a leaf. Infection. Can, just like infection can set in. I, aren't you gonna like know what herbs to like? You know, make no, into no, a we're not gonna salve? know what herbs. No, absolutely I, not. I don't. I still. I'm my doctor, Quinn Medicine Woman. You might be. I'm one hundred sure I could tell what herb between poison ivy yet. Well, yeah, Wayne's played a lot of Resident Evil, so they got herbs covered. Yeah, yeah but those, those are Alkway herbs. Okay, open the the, the first aid kit. Okay. So that, so that he knows he has a band aid. Because I have okay. plenty Look, of SpongeBob just... band aids here. And, and I just want to say again for the record, they make fun of my Band-Aid thing. I was I was putting somebody else's gun together who couldn't put their gun together, and the sharp Picatinny rail slid through both of my palms, and I had like eight razor blade cuts on my hands. And they made fun of me because I wanted Band-Aids before I went running through the woods. We have ibuprofen, possibly out of date. How long have you had it? A couple yeah. years. Okay. Uh, some sort of gauze. That looks good. Rubber glove. I think this is a rubber glove. For the Vaseline? Awesome. Yeah, for the Vaseline. Or or a gigantic condom, we're not sure. Or about. if we need to finger wings. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie doesn't know Got that it. story. I don't want to know I'm this. I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, uh, so this is a bunch of pills. It looks like ibuprofen. I don't know what PDT is. Great. We could grind those up and add water and put them on bug bites if we needed to. More pills. Mystery pills. Did, did you put these pills in your shelf? I probably did put the pills in. This might be aspirin. Or Tylenol. Band-Aids! Woohoo! And a safety pin. That Ooh. shit might be handy. Let's leave the yeah. safety pin Kinda in there. First we could make a fish hook out of that safety pin. Mm -hmm. Would they have Is alcohol in that? the first aid So I think I might want to reload. Actually, let's do this right now. Can you grab some pills from the, from the drawer? This secret pill drawer? Yeah, the secret pill There's drawer. There's a secret pill drawer? Get yeah. the expensive pill drawer. It's not really a secret. Do you want to take some vitamins? Uh, no. I don't want to Do you have any Ambien? <laughs> this is... We got Walgreens ibuprofen. Lens cleaner? <laughs> Xanax? <No. laughs> Must have a lot of... So we can just be spaced out the entire damn time. Are you going to take some Darvacet? Claritin with you? Yeah. All right. Now you take got... Adderall with you, Kyle? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have any. Uh, I got an antibiotic. That's the only prescription I take. I got some. I got some serious antibiotics. If you want those. No, I don't need any for serious antibiotics. I had that. Yeah, let's go to the woods and get a bunch of antibiotics. See what happens. Yeah, no, I, mean, <laughs> I got antibiotics that are like this, just like horse pills. All right. So now we've looked inside the first aid kit. There was no alcohol in that first aid kit. So how are we going to disinfect wounds? I think there were those alcohol pads, right? I don't know. We could bring the lens cleaners. <laughs> Jackie <laughs> found earlier. <laughs> I've got a first aid kit I can bring too. Okay. What gun is Kyle bringing? I'm not bringing a gun. I thought we was going to bring a pistol for some type of protection. 
Um, well, Woody can carry a pistol because he's licensed to, but I'm not licensed to in that state. And since, I, I, since I'm not hunting, um, there would be no reason for me to be carrying a pistol, so I'm not allowed to. Mm. So Woody, it's up to you to bring a pistol. Well, he doesn't. I mean, I could bring the pistol, but he would have to carry it. That's all I'm saying. But I don't think we need a pistol. I don't think I need a pistol. I've never yeah. brought a gun. You guys are are bad at owning guns. Um, you don't carry guns because you don't think you need them. You carry them in case you need them. The thing is, uh, see, typically when I go hiking, the weight is a really big deal, and that's why I'm like anti-pistol. This time, I'm like, uh, yeah. if we were camping. I'd bring a gun. Like if we were car camping or something, we had nowhere to go, be no big deal. I always bring a gun. But when I travel somewhere, and uh, I don't know. Hey, you could bring that new. Re didn't you? You got a revolver, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd bring that. Bring Good the three fifty seven Magnum. Should I bring the silver bullets just so I'm prepared? And the steak. I, here's the what steak. I would do, honestly. Well, there, there, it is going to be a full moon out, isn't it? Oh, good yeah. thinking. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, do it, you watch Grimm? No. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm very disappointed. I'm, I'm just saying. Some, uh, you should get some shot shells for that 357, and some uh, and some like hollow points, and then you'd be set up for anything. Then you could shoot a pig, or you could yeah, use the hollow points. Like, what if a pig went through our camp and we missed the opportunity to have steak the rest of the well, pork chops the rest of the trip? I've never yeah. seen a pig run through your camp. Mm-hmm. If you want me to bring the revolver, I'll be happy to bring it. Kyle, I you, could bring. I, I could bring my revolver and we carry that one because I don't mind if mine gets all fucked up and scratched or anything. I, I'm right there with you. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, but I do have this problem. I have plenty of 38s for it, but I, I only have the only 357s I have are literally the silver bullets you gave me for Christmas. <laughs> 38, will be, 38 will be plenty, though, like for what what we're going to use it for. I got boatloads of them. I've got, sure I've got 357 you Magnum go, ammo. Know, car do you want to bring it? Yeah. I'll... I'll um. I, I'm not at home right now. I'll be at home uh, Sunday, and I've got um, I've got that crazy off-road vehicle. I'm considering bringing that. We won't say any more about that. I may or may not do something with that for the trip. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll look through the guns and I'll I'll see if I I'll see what I want to bring or may or not bring, and we'll figure out a, a an, an ar might as well arm ourselves. So if any of our psychopathic fans decide to show up in the woods and we murder us, yeah, yeah, we can kill them if we have to. All Kyle needs to do is bring his car. And odds are, there's a couple guns in it anyway. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. so I, I took my gun out just because I don't know the North Carolina state laws. Yeah, you, you know, all I've got in my car right now is is that 380. Wings, you can bring a gun. Um, yeah, he can carry one, right? Yeah, I looked it up this week. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because Wings, just Carolina? bring your pistol if you want. What? Because he's or I could bring one of my 1911s if you want a fancy one. Yeah, what and happens? You, can, you, get a concealed, with that. you get a concealed carry permit in your state. And then certain other states respect it. Oh, so and, South uh, Carolina respects wings. Since when did South Carolina respect North Carolina? That didn't used to happen. We Everyone it respects up North Carolina. Um, as far as North Carolina respecting South, then that must be recent. I looked it up this week. You can look it up yourself and confirm. Yeah, but uh, North Carolina is one of the tougher ones to get. So uh, all the other states allow it. Okay. Whereas, like, Georgia, for example, I think you just fill out a form. I think he said he just makes a thumbprint somewhere. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember. He told a story. $50, give him your thumbprint. Yeah. Uh, and a 24-hour wait. But that's just because that's how long it takes him to get it done, not a wait, actual wait period. And then your license to carry. Mm. Here, Armed it's, it's, a, it's a written test, like there's an academic portion. There's a range <laughs> portion. And then it takes like a couple months. I had how to write my name and my address. How the fuck does <laughs> Georgia not honor the concealed carry permit? Because you don't honor ours. Yeah, because South Carolina is all so dicks about you. it. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, you want to make a big to, deal about we it, so you're like, well, we don't want yours neither. I'm just saying, <laughs> you got to put a thumbprint on. We at least got to take a damn class. I think now it, ha it actually has our picture on it, um, but I haven't, I haven't redone mine in a while. By the way, if there's anyone out there, and this, this only. You have to check to see if this applies to you. But if let's for, for for example, if you're in Georgia or South Carolina or a great number of other states, if you want a concealed carry permit, you don't want to go through a big hassle. I think it's Connecticut and maybe Florida as well. 
offer it online, out-of-state carry permit, where you basically send them like a $100 check, you print out their form online, fill it out, and mail that in with a $100 check, and they mail you back a concealed carry permit that is good in like 38 or 40 states in the U.S. So you, it costs 100 bucks. you do it through the mail, you never even talk to anybody, but you're licensed to carry. And you said Connecticut was one of them? I want to say it's I, Connecticut. I know I that sounds I see that silly, coming, right. But I think it's Connecticut and, and Florida. Florida uh, may cover more states, uh, but you have to look in that your, for yourselves. But that's the deal if you really want to just you know, conceal carry and don't want to make a big deal out of it. I think you may have to have thumbprint card to mail into, but it's been a while since I've looked at that stuff. But you do the whole thing through the mail. So I guess you don't need anything else. About I it? have no knowledge of guns or ammo or surviving in the woods. All right. So, so what does Jackie do to protect herself? I have uh, Jack. <laughs> the dog. The dog. I am so, <laughs> I, I am like, so like scared Milo of that dog. I, if, you, if I was a ninja planning a break-in, I would be much more afraid of Jackie with that dog <laughs> than I would be of Jackie with a gun. Yeah, cause that dog is terrifying. He is. I was saying, like, you don't carry like pepper spray or like a shocker or anything, like a taser. No, I if I go on a walk, I bring the dog. I'm just saying, but you, what 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 happens when you get mugged in like food line? That's Cujo. Um. He comes from nowhere, <laughs> galloping. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Just um, better hope that, better hope he doesn't mug you on a moped, huh? Exactly. No, I mean I don't. I try to avoid, um, you know, bad areas, and I try to, you know, not look like a victim. I don't know. Yeah, but you got there. It's not like I've never had my purse stolen because I have. So wings, consider this though, right? So I think you're advocating that Jackie like keeps a gun in her purse. No, I'm saying she should keep something like pepper spray or like oh. a, a shocker on her. That'd be legit. You want some pepper spray? I'll get it. Sure I mean, like, let, you can get both of those for less than 25 awesome. bucks. You want me to pepper spray someone? I'd be saying it's better than having someone video. Would like, get, get you in the face camera, and like, let her pepper spray you. Do that shit. Only an idiot would do that. <laughs> 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 you know, for the right amount of money, I'll let you pepper spray me. Yeah, right? <laughs> You know, somebody's got to pay you twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. You know, maybe you do it. Shit, mine's, mine's a lot less than that. <laughs> um, I don't know. You I want mean, some pepper spray? I bet they sell it on Amazon. Um, I if you think I need pepper spray, spray, then that's fine. Yeah, that was in my head too. Bear spray. Get the bear spray. Let her test it on you, so and you can bring it for the survival trip. Ultimate pump up video for the trip. I'd rather taser you. Dude, I'd don't rather be the high speed camera. Bear spray would make your eyes swell, dude. Oh. Yeah. I've actually seen bears at my mother's. Oh right. Yes. I have seen a bear at your mother's. At Every last. time I go visit my mother, I see bears. Yeah, they have tons of bears in her mom's house. All the Wings. time. Her father, Wings. Mo's well, he's, he's he's dead, dead now. now. <laughs> but would he, you be forgetting pepper sprayed? How much you did you offer me? I'm not offering any money. I'm just you know, just you know, I think it'd be a cool video. If there's money behind it, I'd be no. Like, there's no like, money. I promise. It had to be like <laughs> close to like four or five hundred bucks. Probably you would probably lose money making. The I like the I promise. Like like he was gonna <laughs> renege on his no money offer. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. There's really money. <laughs> no, I guarantee there's none. Like you'd have you probably lose money because you'd have to buy your own pepper spray. I just want to see it. <laughs> and the the video most likely get age gated. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Uh, I'm really pumped about this survival thing. This is this is gonna be uh, great. This is uh, gonna be one of the. I look forward gonna, to the weekend when you're back. Sometimes you sometimes you do something and you know going in that I'm gonna leave this experience with stories that I'll that I'll tell later and and that's one of my stories. And I've got a lot of experiences like that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy to add another one to the mix. You know the reason I'm stories. going, Kyle, because I'm gonna walk into this thing wings. I'm gonna walk out and sing a legend. I don't think I'm that's gonna do true, something but... incredibly fucking stupid that's never gonna die during this trip. Is that what you're thinking? Me? Yeah. What are you thinking? Um, um... You're gonna do something incredibly stupid? Is that what you said? Yes. I'm gonna do something that only a complete moron would do. Like what? And I'm gonna do it with so much confidence that you're gonna have to tell it with pride. Let me reiterate what Kyle <laughs> said. Like what? <laughs> like what? 
I don't know yet. I, if if I knew what I was going to do, it would be it, it would be methodical and planned. Hmm. Are you just telling me that at some point you're just going to come fucking unglued and do some stupid shit? No, no. I'm telling you at some point there's going to be a larity. I, I don't know. What, I don't know what the fuck that means, man. For me, not making fun of my W's. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I'm just looking forward to spending some time in the woods, getting away from my routine. Like I, I like my life what, what? every day. What? Okay, I thought you were just gonna complain about your life. <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. No, but I'm also excited to do something that's completely not my life and yeah. live a different one for five days. Yes, that's well, what I'm I worry about to. you. So why can't you bring food and shelter? I'm bringing a tomahawk. Yeah, but don't have no fear. Whatever, Kyle, Kyle brought a tomahawk. I got a machete, Jackie. Yes. So gonna... those two knuckleheads <laughs> are bringing all sorts of crap. But you I'm gonna bring are the some... old one. Hey, can I bring a shotgun shell that we can take apart and use to, to make a, a makeshift fire? That'd be cool. All these things sound great. Awesome. It's like you are going to be like the Eagle Scout with your Boy Scout troop here. What if we found some bamboo and made a gun like Captain Kirk? Why don't you yeah, hollow out a tree and make a canoe? I mean, seriously. I can't Just do come that. Back in one piece. What do you think the hatchet was for, baby? Oh yes. <laughs> we worked a long time build canoe. Uh and I'm gonna be stressed out all week. We're gonna do this Blair Witch Project style. Wish we had a night vision camera. That'd be sick. You don't have a night vision camera? No, but. I, I can't even fix that. They can't get a camera by Monday. No. You could stop by like a Best Buy, and they might have one in stock. That's a. Th you want me to get that done in just three days? <laughs> I remember one time when you needed uh, when you were promoting dancing uh, with the with the YouTube stars. I went and bought a thousand dollar laptop just so I could make a, a video to promote you. Just saying. Just saying. You totally <laughs> wanted a night vision. <laughs> just had to make it happen. I was on the road, didn't have a computer, needed a computer, had to do it. Really? Made it happen. Yep. You're quite the pal. I'm just the best. You guys should. But I do uniforms. wish we had a night vision camera. Oh, can I bring some night vision? I've got this shitty night vision monocular that's kind of fun to play with. Don't you have a scope or something too? No, I don't. Oh, my mistake. I would love to see the Modern Warfare Two wins in action. <laughs> Once they gave us like a free one. <laughs> oh, right? Do you right? I forgot about those. <laughs> I know oh all man. The... Can you wear uniforms like Boy Scouts? Can we wear uniforms like Boy Scouts? I don't have Not, a uniform. See, I'm afraid that people are going to see us looking all <laughs> fucking weird and shit. Like, like you know, oh, like no. face painted. Oh, and I, I've got some fun ideas for my appearance in this trip that would just be embarrassing if, if they were seen by the general public. I'm going to keep it a secret, but it's going to be fun. Doesn't he have costumes? I've got something coming up. He has costumes. Didn't I'm going to look he... like a mix between Sub-Zero and Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this... I know exactly what that look is going to be. Oh. Sabi. I already have a headache. Is that PK? That scorpion, though. That's I'm having fun. Getting no, fun. I... Oh, Wings, you want, to, you want to bail out, Wings? Is that it? You want to give up early? Never surrender, Wings. Never give up. It's always been four hours. Time. I think it's, been, it's over. been over. I think it started at five something. But, um... Oh, oh, before we cut again, Sunday, 2 p.m., we're going to do our event. What event? Uh, the woodycraft.net death race. Oh, okay. Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes. And um, can, you, can somebody shoot me the address to this place we're supposed to be meeting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but not uh, during the show. Yeah. yeah. But we don't right want now, here's the address. Yeah, right, I'll post it on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Jackie, what is your biggest concern with this trip? Um, that you guys do something stupid. That's going to happen. We're, yeah, the yeah. Trip. I mean, like, I can see why stupid, you're concerned about to that. To do something stupid and and that it would, you know, threaten your life and livelihood, and therefore our livelihood. She's she's worried about the money, money, money. Well, you are the breadwinner of the family, so then I would have to, you know, it would. It sounds her like it sounds like Woody needs to train you how to run the server. Oh my God, that's not the right. Word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'd have to talk to, you know, your two main guys and be like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but you guys have to do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Play the sympathy yeah. card for the next 10 years. Oh, yeah. Just make it happen. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure. Because we have 18 years coming up. You're taking me out, right? Um, what? yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> totally. You wanted to go to the melting pot, remember? It's like, what day is that? <laughs> Check your finger. You could almost hear the oh shit by looking at Woody's eyes. 
You have a present for me, right? Wait, it's an anniversary. It's 18 years together. Right? It's not Seriously. even around. You're anniversary. the one that got lucky. You should get me a present. I gave you my oh. life. That is a present. Jackie, you can slap him right now. I would not. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't make your mother call you. <laughs> but I don't understand why, like, like. You don't want to so go special out. What's so special about eighteen? What What is special about eighteen? Like, what, what, she's making no, out a big deal. Yeah, you hear that? Eighteen years of a human life spent together, wings. That's kind of like they don't don't even make cars. They don't even make anniversary cars on eighteen. For what it's worth, if you count our dating, twenty-two years. Yeah. So you got three more years for the twenty-fifth anniversary. I'm not asking for a lot. See, listen to the man. Just you know, take me (laughs) out. You took Kyle to the melting pot. I did. Hit Joe Loza. Hit Joe Loza. Do what I do. The best part about that was. We, we we went we went there and we ate and then we were like you know what that's not gonna cut it Joe especially so we went to the Capitol Grill and had another fucking dinner I didn't know you had two and dinners with Joe we rolled deep baby it <laughs> wasn't even two small dinners either like no. we killed it at the melting pot and got like everything you can get like lobster and steak and then we're like that's not good enough and went to the Capitol Grill and Joe ordered I think Joe ordered two steaks she <laughs> like two. I remember when we when Joe eats like a madman. Like like we I remember at paintball we were in an Applebee's and he ordered two separate entrees. He's like, yeah, I get the meatloaf, uh, yeah, and then I'll get the. It was like two separate things. It was like two different dishes. I'm trying to think the last time we went out alone together. Tell her Woody got her that extra value meal at one time and. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> Seriously, when was the last time we went out by ourselves? When's the last time I took you out for food? You took me for ice cream today with the kids. That's what I'm saying. Who paid? (laughs) I did. I love Jackie to death. But Jackie stopped working nine months before she got pregnant. (laughs) Okay, who who cooked your dinner tonight? You did, right? But I'm... Who washes your clothes? Normally, you start working like seven months after you get pregnant. This was nine so, months wait. before. Okay, so you would like to subtract those nine months from something? <laughs> no. So in so eighteen years and nine months later, you'll take me out. I love you. Okay, you've heard it here, folks. <laughs> eighteen months and nine months later, he's taking me out. You were saying that um, that you paid for the for the ice cream. You, you really want to go there? No, but you <laughs> I went mean, there. I mean, would you like the shovel to dig yourself deeper? <laughs> Seriously. It's just... They're all quiet because they're scared, too, for you. I hear you, but, like, you can't pull the I paid card. It's not fair. Well, I mean... Uh Aha, now I I got you, right? Pull the money out of my pocket. So you're telling me that you took me out for ice cream. Wouldn't that imply that you paid the bill and took care of everything? Like, you took me out. So, therefore... And I drove... Can I say it? Can I I say it? I drove, too. I drove him there. How did you get the money? <laughs> All the money she has used to be mine. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. And hope too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You really want to keep? No, I just still slap him, Jackie. That's <laughs> See? I worked with the guy. That was actually a stolen line. I worked... Remember John McDonough? Yes. So was, we, it was his. We were really successful. We were at work, and a third coworker was saying was bragging about his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Oh, she's so fabulous, and she has all her own money." And he's like, my wife has all her own money. It's just that it used to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't say that you took me out mm-hmm. because I drove and I paid for the ice cream. Yeah. Well, okay. So if you were saying you took me out, when you, you drove, would take care of everything. You made several mistakes, remember? And I corrected them. <laughs> you did correct them. <laughs> <laughs> so you still well, actually appreciated that. I didn't <laughs> what, hit a single what thing, What is the deal with the driving? <laughs> I hit nothing. What, what? What does it do with the driving? I heard you hit like a post that didn't move. I didn't hit a post. I was oh, there. Really? That wasn't a post. I was that, there. No, no, no. That was the the um. You're talking the about wood. the landscaping. Yeah, the, the landscaping. landscaping timber. Yeah. We're talking about the post because there's a lots of incidents. I can see how you get them mixed up. What post? Okay, let me throw it out there. Why are there yellow marks on the side of your truck? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, uh, okay, that thing. Yeah. Oh, that post. <laughs> but in I, my I defense, will say this. I think you've got. You've got the perfect vehicle for you, though. It's big. It's yeah. it's it's spongy. I feel like you it could take some <laughs> it damage. It should be more spongy, and, right? And it has a, a, a backup camera. Yes, yeah. but in my defense, uh huh, they were really low. The posts. The posts. They were and it, they were newly put into the Dunkin' Donuts. They were at least four feet tall. 
Do you want me to, to oh, measure them on the you, side of your truck? Did you not see the post coming up, like, when you were driving? Like, they were newly I have a put in. So when you say they're newly put in, do you mean they put them in right after you drove by? <laughs> You're the same guy who goes nowhere and can't find his way out of a paper bag. This isn't about me. This... Well, it's about you not taking me out. Listen. Listen. You do better at finding where we're going, right? Yes. And you need coaching. It's I better that you coaching. drive. I don't need coaching. <laughs> so 18 years and nine months ah, you're taking me out. Is yeah. that what you're saying? If I were in your position, I wouldn't talk about good driving either. I'm not even discussing good driving. I know. Yes. Yeah. So when are you taking me out for our anniversary? I can take you out for your anniversary. Oh, you want to go to Melting nice. Pot? If you Actually, I don't want to go to Melting Pot. You no? know why? Because you're going to be complaining that the food takes too long to cook. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I don't know. Take Angus it out Barn. back. Angus Barn. He said out back. Red McDonald's. Lobster. Not Red Lobster. You, you name the place, I'll carry the trays. Not McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Sizzler. <laughs> Not Sizzler. <laughs> We Angus find, Barn. I'm gonna ask one of my friends who go to like good places where mm -hmm. we should go. Maybe some place that's not. You should make him get you one of those places that have where you have to wear like find a, a bow tie and a suit. Do that. Find a Morton's. We could find a Morton's. What's you know your Morton? friend. It's a steakhouse. Oh. You know your friend um, Debbie. Yeah, she writes books. Mm -hmm. She could be a babysitter. She could be a babysitter. She's with Hope right now. Hope's with her right now. Mm -hmm. I had to get here. You were all mad at me. Not anyone can. Babysit Colin. No, not everyone. So, but she would be good. Mm -hmm. You want to hear the stupid thing I did this week to my car? You know What'd I do. do. So I, um, I was in a hurry. Like I was on a, I was on a time, uh, time schedule, and I had a lot of shit to do. And first, I had to stop by the gas station and buy some stuff for somebody else. So I put the pump in my car. I, uh, you know, locked the thing and let it pump the gas in my car while I run inside of the ATM and grab a few other things. And I hop back in the car with this big bag of shit I had to get, and I just take off with the pump still in the fucking car. And I thought it was going to rip it out, but it goes, -claw, pow, 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 like this horrible screeching noise. And I was like, best case scenario, I just fucked up the whole side of my car. Worst case scenario, there's going to be gasoline spraying everywhere. So I get out, and, and I look, and the, and the people in the, you know, just on the other side of the pump were staring at me. They had seen me do the whole thing, and I was like... Well, that was fucking stupid of me, wasn't it? And they all laughed. And I go back there and look, and it didn't do any damage to my car, any damage to the pump. And I hung it up, and the guy in the car is like, Hey, I know you. Hang on a damn minute. <laughs> and so they all, like, pile out of their fucking truck. And there's, like, him and, like, three kids all piled in this tiny truck. And so fucking mm -hmm. took pictures with all of them, which made me even fucking later. They were and big so, FPS Kyle fans. Yeah, but the thing yes. is, nothing happened to his car. Nothing happened to the car. I was but shocked. It would have happened to my car. I would have been scratched on the side. Flames have been shooting out. You, you <laughs> yeah, you would have ripped the whole pump out and yeah. take it home with you. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much a pump costs? No. A oh, lot of money. Wow. Quarter million. I don't have a quarter million. No way. Apparently, I don't have any money. I once looked into opening a gas station. There was a gas station by us that didn't have a Quickie Mart. And it didn't even have employees. It had a button you pressed if you needed any help. But you didn't. You just drove up to it, you pumped the gas, and then you drove away. I'm like, this thing is like a reverse ATM machine. You drive up to it, you put your money in, and you drive away. This is a fabulous business. So I started looking into it. and um, Each pump was $250,000? Each pump was two fifty. Now, usually they do two sides. Mm -hmm. So it's you could almost call it like an eighth of a million instead of a quarter. And... Um, but if you wanted to have like eight pumps, which is kind of a start, you're in for, is that two million? If you say so. And uh, yeah. um, then uh, the the gas station itself, like Exxon had these requirements that you had to have like a million liquid dollars and like a six million dollar net worth. Or it was really big just to be considered for a franchise. It was way more than I had <laughs> at the time. So. And still have. <laughs> uh, I need to check the numbers again. But uh, If it was six million. If it was six million, we don't have six million. Yeah. Unless you're keeping things. Did, did you did, did you have your heart set on Exxon? Because I know around here gas station is a lot cheaper. Um, around here, you can buy a gas station that's already sitting around for like seven hundred thousand. Maybe, but Plus that $7. probably doesn't. Like you're saying, it wouldn't be an Exxon, right? Like in this area, if you're not Exxon or Mobil or Texaco or like any name brand, you usually charge less. I bet that's true everywhere, isn't it? Like if I don't you drop not, by. 
If I'm you not saw willing to give it an Exxon, I'm sorry to interrupt you. If you saw an Exxon next to an NAD, you probably had never heard of NAD. Then wouldn't you pick the Exxon as a tiebreaker? I don't I don't really look at what the gas is. I like to go to whichever one I think is going to have the cleaner restrooms. I, yeah, so if I see like a racetrack or done. raceway, like I like to go to the racetrack and raceway places. Uh, if if not that, then like the BP travel centers are great. They usually got like, like a subway attached or something. Yeah, I'm with Kyle. Like if it's like a kangaroo, I know they're going to have a clean bathroom, and I'll pick that one. I don't really care what gas is, mobile, Chevron with Tecron. Don't give a two flying fucks about yeah, that. Yeah, the gasoline's not. It's it's the facilities. <laughs> And I'm that I'm that I'm looking for, not the uh, not the gasoline. Hmm. Like, I don't really yeah. count the gasoline numbers either, because I'm not one of those people to realize. Oh, if I get just in four cents cheaper, I might save sixty four cents on this tank. So, so my friend had uh, Crohn's disease, so he would have like crazy diarrhea at, at at like a moment's notice, and you had to pull off the road, <laughs> and so this guy could take a shit, and like you'd be driving, and he'd just just just. For, Fucking start sweating bullets. He's Jeremy, like, oh god, no. Let's spread a rumor. And, Jeremy uh, has Crohn's disease. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we uh, so, so so we know the guy's got a shit. So we, we pull over and there's a BP on the right across the street. There's a Chevron and I'm like, what do you want? He's like BP. So we go into BP, and we all go in because cousin and I both have to pee. And he goes in and we look and it's a one. Well, we refer to in the uh, when you're tra- when we're traveling a lot as a one at a timer. That's a bathroom where you've just got one person at a time. This isn't the thing with a lot of stalls. So we know he's about to do destructive things. And <laughs> like, you know what? Fuck this. Well, I like bang on the door. I go, hey man, we're going across the street to the the other uh, store. We'll pick you up, or you can cross over whichever first. So we go across the street. We pee. We get we get some sodas, and we uh, we go to pull out into the intersection to cross back over to the uh, the first gas station where he was. But he comes sprinting out of the store. And he doesn't stop in the parking lot. He comes running into the highway, and he's waving for us to come and get him. So we just pull into the highway, and he hops into the truck while it's still rolling. We're like, what the fuck? What happened? He's like, wow, I fucked it up in there bad. I shit all over the seat, a little bit on the floor. It just got away from me. I don't know what happened. And I could hear that lady on the outside through the door. And they were, they were like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm about to leave. I've just got to clean the bathroom and then go. <laughs> so as soon as he walked out, she was walking in, so he just ran for it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to end the show right there? Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Place to do it.